Revelation 3761. From the 5th of May 1946. Bliss already on earth. I already prepare heaven on earth for those who love me with all their heart, who are absorbed in their desire for me and thus carry me in their heart. But if I promise you heaven on earth, you must not understand earthly goods by it but only the bliss of your heart, inner peace and the feeling of safest security in me. For my gifts are of a different kind than the world offers you, yet they make you infinitely more happy and anyone who receives them is already blissfully happy on earth. Then you are also free from every earthly worry because you know that the Father in heaven cares for you, then you no longer see the world as threatening to you, but you stand, as it were, outside all earthly events because you are already raptured into the spheres where my presence is palpable to you and thus you no longer fear anything. And you are full of hope, full of confidence in a blissful life in the beyond and humbly accept earthly life with its burden because it no longer weighs you down, for you are strong in soul and able to bear great burdens with ease. As your heart presses towards me, you strive for the marriage of your spirit with the Father Spirit, and you will also seriously pursue the goal and never ever be left without strength by me for this marriage is also my bliss and the purpose and goal of all my creations and creatures. And if you seriously strive for it, it will already take place on earth, and understandably this also means a blissful state which, however, does not have an external effect, that is in the body's well-being, but in the soul's harmonious serenity which finds supreme happiness in the union with me and therefore turns its back on the world and all earthly pleasures. It looks at everything spiritually, it lives in the knowledge of pure truth, it knows its final goal and only regards earthly life as a transition to actual life, and it constantly draws strength from me who also provides for it abundantly because it has become mine and because I provide for my own spiritually and physically, as I have promised. Therefore, anyone who loves me with all his heart, who keeps my commandments of love, belongs to my own, and his earthly existence will truly be shaped in such a way as is bearable for him while his soul will draw ever closer to me and find supreme bliss in the union with me. Amen.